this, but we're really building relationships between our school districts and our local workforce development boards to access that WIOA funding. That's additional strategy. So many of our school districts have accessed that funding, um, that state apprenticeship fund, and that's a reimbursement for apprenticeship wages um, of up to $2,500 per apprentice. Again, the braided funding through the FAFSA. And I know someone asked if it was loans. In Tennessee, it's all non-repayable that they're tapping into because they cannot have a loan that they have to pay. It has to be at no cost to the apprentice. And again, that two plus two model is really strong in Tennessee. So really using what's already in place to access the 60 first 60 hours at the community college and then having really strong transfer pathways to our EPPs. So no, no credits are lost along the way. Um, for our apprentices. And finally, we are doing innovative work in Tennessee with our EPPs. So to help lower cost or come up with other pathways, and that could be through um, post back licensure only pathways that might be non-credit bearing to reduce the cost um, could be completed in one year. Other EPPs are covering some of the tuition or lowering tuition, um, but we are always looking at innovative programs and pathways that we can offer. Um, the high quality of the programs are still there. It's just really reducing the cost um, side of side of things. It's shifting the mindset of these school districts and employers. That's what makes it sustainable. Like helping them understand that um, apprentices are contributing to the work in the school. They're benefiting student learning. They're benefiting the school community. And you are paying them like not a lot of money um, for a substantial return on investment. And so it's helping the understanding of the school district as the employer understand that return on investment and value that return on investment that we've really seen help us pivot to really sustainable funding. Conversations also with districts about just you're going to be recruiting for this position anyway. And so, you know, you can spend your recruitment dollars here or you can invest them in this um, registered apprentice that you know is a value add to your district and is going to make a fabulous employee. And so just helping them think through the dollars that they do have and reallocating funds in just different ways. I think is another conversation that we aim to have with our partners as well. You can share the retention data with them. It costs twenty to twenty three thousand dollars to replace the teachers. So if you're retaining them, you're saving that money as well. Because the average student loan debt across the nation, at least in New Hampshire, is the same for the education major as it is for the business major. And the business major makes twice what the education major makes right out the door. So we are really beginning to work with our local banks to provide not subsidized rent, but subsidized mortgages for our graduates who complete. So we want them to live and work in, in their communities to work. So we're really thinking long-term of how to attract more people to education is to provide benefits such as that. It's not that there are no people that are interested in becoming teachers, but a lot of the folks that we see that are interested in becoming teacher of record have so many barriers that are keeping them from obtaining licensure. And so when we can remove the barriers of cost to education, or like someone else said, remove the barrier of you have to quit employment to do student teaching, when we can say that's part of your apprenticeship, that removes barriers and enables folks to step into the role of teacher of record. And um, school leaders see the value in that because they know those people, they've worked in their buildings, and there's um, a sense of loyalty to the community and to that district. So those folks, um, I think that we'll see the there will be data to show that there are higher retention rates as well.